Okay, so in today's math lesson, we are now shifting over to subtraction. And subtraction is great. It's very similar to addition with regard to the models and such, uh, except for a little twist here and there. So uh, let's go through it. Uh, we're starting with three quarters, and they already took care of that one for us there. They drew the, our three quarters. Notice our dividers are going horizontally. Wonderful. So now I'm going to create another box that represents my one third. I'm going to draw those separators vertically. I'm going to shadow in one of those boxes to represent one third. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those thirds. I'm going to transfer it over here, split this into thirds, and split this one into fourths. I need those common denominators. And my common denominator now is 12. And what I'm doing here is creating equivalent fractions. So I now have 9 twelfths over here, and 9 twelfths is equivalent to that 3 quarters that I started with. And over here, I notice I have 4 twelfths, uh, which is also equivalent to my 1 third. Now, if I was to subtract, wonderful. Here are my twelfths, here are my 5. I have 5 twelfths. I'm done. The picture actually demonstrates this for me in, in, in this way. I have 9 that are shaded in. I'm going to subtract or take away four of them. And that's what subtracting is. I'm taking four away from my nine. Well, I'm going to do the same thing in my picture. I'm going to take four away from my nine. Watch this. One, two, three, four. I just took four away. Why four? Well, I have four shadowed here. I'm, I'm subtracting, so I'm taking them away from my original. It's almost like this guy here is my, my starting block here. And this guy is what I take away. Let me write that in there. That's what I take away. And what am I left with? Well, I'm left with one, two, three, four, five of them. And there it is, five twelfths. So that's how it's re represented in the picture. OK? Uh, let me do one more for you so you get the hang of this a little bit. Let me just kind of cruise on down here. All right, here we go. Let's see if we get some green going. This one's a little more complicated here. All right, so I have five sixths. I'm going to split this into sixths. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't do such a good job on that. Sorry. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four. And there's my five sixths. And I'm going to subtract or remove or take away one third. And there's there are my thirds. Notice I'm going again in the opposite direction. This time I started with the vertical, and then I went to horizontal. It doesn't really matter. So let me split this one into fifths. Now I'm going to actually change colors. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five there. And I'm going to split this into thirds. Now I have a matching set here. Notice all my boxes, or they should, all look to be the same size. They don't really look it, but they should. I have 18 now boxes in each of my uh, each of my rectangles here, each of my squares, and I do notice that. Let's see here. I have 15 shaded in here, and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six shaded in here. And if I was to subtract, well, let me do it during uh, looking at the picture here. I'm supposed to subtract six, so I'm going to take six away from this guy. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. All right, I just took six away. So what's left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine out of 18 left. Okay? And if I take a really good look at this nine out of 18 here, let me change colors again. If I take a really good look, I'll notice something about that nine over 18. Here's my box, and it looks like half of them are shaded here, and half of them are not shaded, which means. That's right. You guessed it. 9 over 18 is going to equal 1 half. Okay, so that's how we subtract those fractions. We find those common denominators. We make equivalent fractions from our original. And uh, we subtract. And uh, we'll simplify if needed. Okay, thanks so much, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.